Hey folks, welcome to another how-to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to do normal distribution on this particular Casio graphics calculator. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright folks, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the mean of 0 and the standard deviation of 1 for these three particular questions here. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch on the calculator, click on menu, go to the stat mode, and under stat mode we're going to go to F5 where it says distribution, and we're going to click on F1 which says normal, and we're going to be using the NCD button which is F2. Now, when you click on this, sometimes you'll actually see that the calculator is set up as list. You need to change it to variable. So if it does look like this in your calculator, that means your data source is actually coming from the list. And what we want to do is click on to F2, which actually changes to variable. Now you've got your lower limit, upper limit, standard deviation, and mean. Now because we're using mean of zero, the mean is already set up to zero and the standard deviation here is 1. So in the calculator, it's already set up as 1. Now for the first question, we've got between 0 and 1.1. So our lower limit is going to be 0. That's already done there. And our upper limit is going to be 1.01. Now you press Enter, and if you go right to the bottom, you can actually click Execute, but there's also there's a draw function. We're going to click on Execute first. And when we do that, we get a probability of 0 0.3643. Now let's say we actually want to see what this looks like as a diagram. Click on Exit and click on F6 for Draw. And there you go. It's actually going to give you the diagram of the bell curve. And it shows you that the lower limit is 0, the upper limit is 1.1, and the probability, which is 0.3643. All right, so let's try number two here, where probability of Z is greater than 1.4. So in this case, the lower limit is going to be 1.4. The upper limit, well, if you really think about it, in Z scores, your, I think you kind of, your upper limit and lower limit is positive five and negative five, because you should be able to cover all of your data. Now, just in case, if you're not sure about it, what you can do is one, times 10 to the power of 10. That's going to give you a very large number. And of course, we can kind of leave it like that. And we're going to click on execute. And we've got this as the probability, which is 0 0.08. But I just want to double check that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right down to the bottom and click on draw. And as you can see, the lower limit is 1.4 and the upper limit, well, that's going to be a very large number. And we're getting our probability, which is equal to 0 0.0808. 0 .08. I'm just going to round it up to four decimal places. With normal distribution, we kind of do four decimal places. And of course, in different countries, they have different expectations. And finally, we've got question three here, where we're trying to find probability of Z less than negative 0.7. So when it's actually less than negative 0.7, we're going to go down to our upper limit, which is going to be negative 0 0.7. But our lower limit is going to be negative 1 times 10 to the power of 10. So this is kind of going to give you the lower limit there. And we're going to click, before we click execute, we're just going to go into draw. I do like the draw function here because you can kind of see what your questions look like before you actually get the answer. So here we go. And I've got my lower limit, which is negative 1 to the power of 10. And upper limit is negative 0 0.7. And my probability is 0 0.242420. All right, folks, that pretty much covers how to find normal distribution with a mean of 0 and standard deviation of 1 on this particular Casio graphics calculator. Mm -hmm. 